brightest blessings, everyone. You know, I know I haven't done a video in a, in a long time. Well, I've done a few, but they're on private. Um, but I've been thinking. I Even though I haven't been on YouTube making videos, I have been watching them. And I have been watching the news. And, you know, I've always known this, but it never really came to words until I guess I was ready to make a video about it. You always hear people arguing about gay rights, whether they should be allowed or not. Um, should they be allowed to get married? Should they be allowed to reap the benefits of marriage? Should they be allowed to whatever? And you always have people saying, oh, yes, oh, yes. And you always have those people saying, absolutely not. Um, I always thought it was uh, rather comical, but also sad and very telling that other minorities that were once discriminated against, that were once fighting for their own civil rights, are also some of the biggest people pushing against gay rights. Um, you got a lot of black people or a lot of people in general upset that homosexuals are comparing their struggles to um, the blacks in the civil rights era. And their biggest argument, if they were against gay rights, is that you can change your sexuality, I cannot change my color. Well, I have two issues with that statement. Number one, are you saying that you're a self-hating African-American? If you could change your skin color, would you do so? If you could change your race, would you do so? Sure, it would be easier, but would you do so? Um, I think that's a question you seriously have to ask yourself. If you're any, any sort of race that used to be discriminated against, whether you have your civil rights or not, I need you to think back and think, if I could take a pill today and change my race to be a majority, would I do so? The second issue here, and I think a lot of people who are trying to push um, the agenda of taking gays and sticking them back in the closet or just killing them all together, are trying to push this. Because they know damn well it's not correct, but they're trying to push it anyway. And that is the fact that homosexuals can change because homosexuality is nothing more than a choice. And I have great issue with that. That's complete and total bullshit. You could not be further from the truth. My friend, and I'm speaking to all those people who claim to be 100% heterosexual. And I'm specifically speaking to those people who not only claim to be 100% heterosexual, but also believe that it is the actions that you do, that it is a behavior. And so therefore, because it is nothing more than a behavior, that it is a choice. And it is a behavior that can be changed. And I, I think this is what I started thinking about. And I've always known it and I've always believed it. But it's something that I think that I need to bring up. You are not always sexually active. Let's think back to when you were a virgin. All the way from birth. Were you always straight? Did you have the potential to become gay or lesbian or even bisexual. Before you had sex, before you ever physically had sex, were you still straight? How do you know? You never had sex with men or women or both. So the fact that you never had sex, how would you know if you're gay or straight? You see, gay is simply an action that you do. Is it not? 
when you're no longer in a relationship, you know, for those that don't need to hop from bed to bed, from man to man, or from woman to woman, when you're single and you're not even dating, are you still straight? You're not dating anyone in particular. You're not dating someone of the same sex. You're not dating someone of the opposite sex. You're not having sex either. So does that mean that you're not straight at that point in time? Because what you're arguing, what you're saying against homosexuals is saying that anytime you're not having sex or that you're not in a relationship with the opposite sex, then you run the risk of not being heterosexual. See, that sounds really stupid, doesn't it? But that's your argument. Before I had any attractions, I wasn't sexual at all. Before I had sex with a woman, I was attracted to women. So I was a lesbian before I was even sexually active, which means being gay has nothing to do with your behaviors. I was gay not because I was having sex with women or anybody else. I was gay because I was sexually attracted to women. You see, it's not my action. It's not what I was doing. It was what I was feeling. You can change your actions. I agree with you there, my friend. But you cannot change your feelings. You cannot change your attractions. You need to think about that. And if I were to break up with my girlfriend tomorrow and swear off women and do everything in my power because... All of a sudden, I found Jesus Christ, and I feel the love of the Lord, and I feel the power of God, and I will do anything in my power not to be gay. And therefore, I actually end up remaining celibate for the rest of my natural-born life. I will still be a lesbian. Because I can change my behaviors and not date women and not have sex with women. But I cannot change my feelings and my attractions. So even if I were to swear off women for whatever reason and become celibate for the rest of my life, I'm still a lesbian. Simple as that. If you were to do the same for whoever you're attracted to, you would still be straight. You would still be gay. You would still be a lesbian. You'd still be bisexual. You would still be whatever your sexual orientation is. And that is my point. Disagree with me? Send me your response video. Blessed be you.